sort of all rights read into the record this morning and turned out guilty of all. In a Multnomah County courtroom, Joseph Emerson pleaded not guilty to 83 counts of attempted murder, among other charges. The off-duty pilot is also being federally charged with interfering with a flight crew. Oregon State documents say the 44-year-old told Port of Portland police officers he was in a mental crisis and had not slept in over 40 hours. He also admitted to using mushrooms 48 hours prior. That defendant has committed According to federal documents, Emerson, who was in the cockpit's jump seat, threw his his headset across the cockpit and said, I am not OK, before grabbing both red engine shutoff handles. These two guys had great crew coordination and communication with each other. Mike Haynes is a retired airline captain check pilot with the half a century of flying experience. Legal documents say once Emerson was kicked out of the cockpit, he turned to an emergency exit door and tried to grab the handle. The flight attendant was able to stop him. Haynes says it's common for airline employees to be trained in de-escalation. And that's everything from verbal de-escalation to literally all the way up to physically managing the threat. Haynes, who's also a retired FAA regulator, says he won't be surprised if we see changes. There will probably be some more restrictive actions taken for access to the flight deck jump seat, either by the airline involved itself or the regulators, the FAA, or both. Now, I asked Alaska Airlines if they were going to change their policies because of this incident, and they responded back to me, Joyce, within just hours, saying that they had no changes to change, or they had no plans to change anything. Uh, Emerson said, Kristen, himself, that he took mushrooms 48 hours prior to that flight on Sunday. Do you know when was the last time that he flew as a pilot, and does he have any previous record? Yeah, Alaska Airlines did tell me that the last time he piloted a plane was Thursday, October 19th. So that would be out of that 48 hour timetable where he said he initially took mushrooms. As far as his record, Alaska Airlines said there was absolutely zero issues. Joyce. Kristen Goodwillie reporting for us from SeaTac tonight. Thank you.